Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at the P67A GD65 model motherboard from MSI. This one here is using the Military Class 2 and basically that involves high quality capacitors that MSI claims are military class. So these are really energy efficient. They're going to keep your board stable when it comes to overclocking. This has tons of features that are basically from the next generation motherboard for the next generation CPU. So basically if you're looking to get the new Intel 1155 socket CPU, so the 2500K or the 2600K for example, this board is going to give you all of the features and support to overclock it to the max. So let's prove that. Let's go through the motherboard and review some of these features. Now, one thing that you look for is a good layout, and that's what I like about this board. Everything is spaced out very nicely. Lots of room for a large CPU cooler if you wanted to do that, of course. As you can see here at the bottom, you've got your SATA 3.0. Okay, so lots of support there for new technologies. USB 3.0 as well. Over here on the side, you've got the Overclocking Genie 2, and of course, support for adding Crossfire, SLI, um, dual cards. You've got all kinds of support for the latest technologies in here and all your headers are along the side so things don't get cluttered. So very nicely done as well as plugging in additional USB 3.0 uh, connectors there. Here are the PCI Express slots, the 1X and of course a couple more uh, PCI slots there at the end. Not laid out necessarily for four or three video cards, just two. Here is a nice looking heat sink that you can see covers the P67 chipset and of course the voltage regulators at the top are connected very nicely. Those are the high quality capacitors that I'm talking about, the military class, high quality, okay, and low profile as well so they don't get in the way with your large CPU cooler and that's really something that you're looking for if um, you know, depending on what you're installing on your board, you want less clutter. Very nice. I like the colors, the design, everything is very, very nicely laid out. So no complaints there from my part when it comes to this board. Now also here you can see more of those low profile, high quality capacitors that I'm talking about. Up to 32 gigs of dual channel DDR3 memory that you can overclock very nicely there. So. Here is the back also, you can see the PS2 connector, two USB, CMOS reset, coax, optical out, firewire, a couple more USB 2.0s, 3.0 USB as well, the eSATA, your gigabit LAN, your 8 channel audio, tons of connectors. And talking about connectors in the box, you're going to get the USB cables of course, USB 3.0 compatible cables, very nice, they're white ones, some of them are angled okay for those tight spots so very nice that uh, MSI included that here is the additional USB 3.0 uh, adapter that you can have at the back of your case and that plugs in onto your motherboard like I mentioned earlier and also you've got an SLI bridge connector okay so if you wanted to have two cards there you go and some more headers there so that you can have your cables going from your case to your motherboard very nice and clean and easy to plug in there's the uh, voltage um, cables there for you to hook up a multimeter for example and get some readings very nice and of course the IO shield plate that it comes with okay now of course it comes with a driver the manual and overclocking utility but here in click bias you have the overclocking capabilities in there and that's what I really like about this bias this is the new generation bias you can use your mouse or you can use your keyboard so go through all the different options I basically created a second video that gives you all the benchmarks based on 4.7 gigahertz that I got out of the Intel 2500K CPU. Okay, so I went through all of these options which are very thorough, very complete, set up my uh, voltages, of course, adjusted all of the options that was causing throttling or power saving features. I disabled a lot of options in there so that way I could do my overclocking and get stable results. Low temperatures and lower voltages. That's the key thing here. It's not about overclocking like crazy like I mentioned earlier in my previous videos. It's about overclocking smart. You can use the overclocking genie which basically you press it and in one second it calculates all of these values. You can get 4.2 gigahertz no problem out of the CPU on the fly there with that overclocking genie button that's on the motherboard or you can go here through the overclocking options and then 
there you go bam 4.7 gigahertz very nice stable and cool believe it or not the results are terrific using air I'm not even using water cooling look at these results very nice system can't complain again if you're looking for more benchmarks I made a second video that goes thorough through every single benchmark using this motherboard and this CPU at 4.7 gigahertz so check it out I'll post the link so you can click on that next and watch the video here are the memory timings of course at 800 so that's 1600 there effectively you can see the type of memory that I'm using the Kingston Hyper X and of course I'm using a top-of-the-line AMD HD 6950 video card. Overall, terrific results. Like I mentioned earlier, there's really no complaints other than that you can't install more than two video cards in there, but then again, why would you need any more? So terrific results. Like to thank MSI for providing it, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.